This is Ryan Brownlee for Figured Out Baseball. Wanted to talk about quality at bats today. Uh, this is something that helped me a lot as an assistant and then carried over uh, to a head coach. And so started this at James Madison University back in the late 90s and then took it to Iowa with me and then to Western Illinois uh, and I'll have this hard copy for you guys uh, so you can see it. It'll be attached. Uh, so I, I do feel like this is something uh, that will help any program at any level uh, to help hitters uh, kind of stay away from the ups and downs and riding that roller coaster of results. You know, what do you do? You have a four for four day and you feel great and that roller coaster is going up and then you have an 0 for four day. Uh, with four punch outs, uh, and so we're, we're riding that slope down. So how do we kind of counteract that as a coach to help our players stay away from the results? Uh, and I think you can focus on results, but in the way that is going to help you and help your team and kind of realize that there's more to being a good offensive player than just uh, getting hits. And so this is something that has helped uh, multiple players of mine along the way. And we had nine criteria, different programs use different things. Uh, and really tracking a quality at bat uh, will help on a lot of different levels. But our nine criteria we had were a hard hit ball. Uh, that's going to play in, in, in any setting is a hard hit ball, a walk, a hit by pitch, uh, move a runner with no outs. Score a runner from third with less than two outs. Uh, base hit, uh, six pitch at bat, uh, not ending in a strikeout. A nine pitch at bat, regardless of the outcome. And then catcher's interference. You know, why catcher's interference? You're still getting on base, uh, you know, maybe uh, not your traditional way, but you're still getting on base and, and helping your team. Uh, but felt like it helped uh, players just stay away from that result roller coaster. And then it also helped your role players. So we would track it. Um, I will attach the box chart that we used to track our quality at bats on. Uh, so you can have that as well. Uh, but it helped uh, because we would lay it out. And you might have a kid that's not a starter, uh, that's only going to get a pinch hit here and there. And so how do they stay in tune to their one at bat? Well, you know what? They may have moved a guy. Uh, with no outs from second to third, that's a plus. And you know what? Their quality at bat percentage is a thousand. And so this is just a great way for a coach to track this, and then it will help your players stay away from that result roller coaster. As always, hit me up if you need anything or have questions. My email is rbrownlee at abca.org. You can interact with me on Twitter uh, at Coach B underscore ABCA or on Instagram, rbrownlee17. Uh, so hit me up if you have any questions uh, as you're looking through the quality of bat chart. All right, have a great day. Thanks.